Hi lovelies, it's Paul DJ here. Welcome to my channel. Want to know all the deets to this lovely smoky eye and bullet combination? Keep on watching. Okay, so first up, we're just going to start off by doing our brows. I'm just going to use a regular brown brow pencil that I got from my local beauty supply store. I like to underline my brows and overline and then go ahead in and fill in lightly using very light strokes. You don't want no blotchy, blocky eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn to outline and clean up my brows using a concealer brush that I got from um, BH Cosmetics. Super affordable. Okay. We're going to set the brows using brow gel from Maybelline. So I'm going to take another LA Girl Concealer in Pure Beige just to highlight my brow bone and um, bring out the eyebrows a little bit more and also use that same concealer to prep my eyelids for my eyeshadow. You want to go ahead and set your concealer using a powder of your choice. Then I'm going to go ahead and use that pretty brown color or reddish color into my crease just to deepen it a little bit more. And I'm using my BH Cosmetic Take Me to Brazil palette. <laughs> Already using a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend out that crease color so there's no harsh lines and um, the shadow. Next, we're going to take that pretty red color in the Jewel Place palette and deepen our crease just a little bit more. Using a flat brush, we're going to take some black eyeshadow and place it on the center of our lid and make sure we're blending, blending, and blending some more, okay? <laughs> just keep blending, just keep blending. <laughs> like your life depends on it, girl. So I'm going to continue on blending that reddish brown crease color into the black. You want a nice seamless transition from the red to the black. No harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX glue and pop it right in the center of my lids. Next, I'm going to go and take that beautiful red glitter and pop it right in the center of my lid where I place my glue. Let me tell y'all about the deal that I got on this bomb glitter, okay? I got 40 little containers of color from Amazon for like nine bucks, all right? For the low, low. All right, so I'm gonna go back again um, into my black shadow from my Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna pop the black shadow on both sides of the glitter, just to, um, you know, blend it a little bit more into the glitter, no harsh lines, just one seamless eye. See this harsh line on that eye? That's exactly what we do not want. <laughs> Definitely could blend a little bit better. Oh my lord. It's okay though. Learn from my mistakes so you're not walking around with unblended eyeshadow. And please don't come for me in the comments. I know my edge is a little crusty, but I will fix that later, okay? <laughs> That's not got to be glued. I, you know, I'll be getting you sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead with my e.l.f. Cosmetics liquid liner. And we're going to go for a um, semi-subtle wing line today i wanted to go a little bit more dramatic but i don't know for some reason this is kind of what i got so just keep on watching Next, I'm going to go ahead with my Flawless Face uh, Face Primer that I got from my local beauty supply store. Can't remember the brand right now. And um, followed by some color corrector, of course, Ellie Girl. And yeah. Anything you want to hide, like dark circles, blemishes, you want to color correct. With my Ellie Girl foundation in the color bronze and place that all over my face, you guys. This foundation is bomb, okay? I can't believe the price. For the coverage that i get like it's beautiful it goes on seamlessly it's easy to blend and look at this coverage catfish okay so back at it again with the um fawn concealer placing under my eyes bridge of my nose on my forehead and of course my chin just bringing some color back into my face and refocusing where the light already hits the beauty blender i'm gonna go ahead and blend out that concealer all the way so it melts into my face because this is a Valentine's glam date night kind of look, we're going to go back in with the lighter concealer just to brighten up the places I already highlighted. And of course, this is again LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Pure Beige. I'm going to go ahead with my beauty blender, um, damp it a little bit, and continue on blending out that concealer into my skin. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead with my Ruby Kisses Cream Contour Palette. I'm gonna contour my cheeks, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and of course, my um, jaw area. So what we're gonna do is just bring color back into the face and snatch at the cheeks. You wanna look like you starved yourself and you didn't eat in weeks. I'm gonna go ahead one more time with my damn beauty blender and make sure I completely blend out that contour. I don't know what it is about a beauty blender, but I just feel like it gets the job done. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and set everywhere I put that on my highlight and right underneath my cheeks. You're gonna carve out the, oh, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> you wanna cut them cheeks okay you want to carve out the cheekbones we're gonna go ahead and put that uh, setting powder everywhere of course that we place the highlight and we're just gonna let that set in for a little bit and we're going to bake then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes uh, these are some regular lashes that I got from my beauty supply store and I believe they're from kiss the lash line yep go in with um, a fluffy brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. Um, I got these beautiful brushes for Christmas. Shout out to my mommy-in-law. She's the best. And I'm also have that excess powder. You don't want to look like a powder donut, so make sure you brush it off. And I'm going to reapply um, some contour powder where I place my contour and go ahead again and place um, some powder on my nose. And can we please talk about this highlight? This is Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. Wait, wait. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yes, highlight. Come through, highlight. <laughs> it's so pretty, beautiful. Four dollars, actually. Okay, bomb. Of course, I went ahead and placed the highlighting color on the highest points of my cheekbones, my nose, my chin area, and a little bit of my cupid's bow, and of course, my forehead. Obviously, I'm feeling this highlight. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> I'm also going to go back in and place that color on my brow bone and I'm going back to place my little beauty marks on my face. I just like having them there. I don't like when they're covered up in makeup. Next, we're going to go ahead with a brown pencil and align the lips and prep them for the beautiful red lipstick that I'm about to put on, alright? By the way, this is my best friend happy me up in the background <laughs> this whole entire video. <laughs> and next, I'm going to go ahead with this beautiful bright red from Dose of Colors. And I'm going to place it all over my lips and blend it in with the lip liner. This shit is... <gasps> Obviously, this red lip got me shook and shaking in my boots, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, smoke out my... I can't even talk right now. I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my bottom waterline. Bottom line, I don't even know. Okay, just watch the video. <laughs> Finish off the eyes by putting some mascara on the bottom lashes. Oh, yes. Oh, you look good, girl. Last and certainly not least, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my wet and wild setting spray. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and keeping up with my craziness. <laughs> so this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching and welcome to my channel please comment like and subscribe and write in the comment box what you guys would like to see this was really fun so yeah there it is